Hi, this is Carrie Gilbert with Jive Software, and a lot of my customers have been asking me about gamification lately, so I thought it might be useful to record a quick video to share some thoughts. A lot of customers are initially really skeptical of the concept of gamification, and I will be the first to admit that I was right there with you. When you're looking at simply accruing points for various behaviors in a community, so 10 points for creating a discussion, 5 points for liking something, and that sort of thing, you're absolutely right. It can be a very artificial way of tracking how somebody's performance in the community is stacking up. However, with some of the functionality available in tools like the Advanced Gamification Module from Drive, you can go much further than simple point accrual to start to really track what people are getting those points for. Over time, as users accrue more and more badges, then they start to develop a nice trophy wall that really illustrates exactly what they've been doing that you perceive as helpful in the community. And what you perceive as helpful in the community is going to vary based on what you're setting your community up to accomplish. And that's really the key in creating any kind of meaningful gamification strategy. You really need to think about your overall community strategy and what behaviors you're looking to incentivize in the community, and then back that into your gamification strategy so that all of your badges and point accruals are lining up directly behind it. So, for example, if you have a support community and one of your primary drivers is all around call deflection and making sure that your savvier users are assisting other users in the community, then that's going to directly feed your strategy. You might be providing more points every time somebody answers another person's question. Perhaps a lot more points for providing an answer than you do for creating the question in the first place. However, Ultimately, you want to have a community that's rich not just in responses, but in responses that have the correct social signals to cue to other users which answers are correct. When thinking about your gamification strategy, think beyond just pure community interactions as well, and think about the other behaviors, online and off, that you really want to motivate your users to accomplish. If they start following you on Facebook, that might be something that you want to, in exchange, provide a badge for. If they start attending your offline events, Again, that might be something you want to provide a badge for. And there again, other users can then come to their profile and get that nice sense of exactly how they like to engage with your company. Another aspect that often factors into a successful gamification strategy is to think around the concept of exclusivity. That's often a very big motivator for people. So you might have some badges that you'll only dole out on a very limited basis. And sooner or later, especially with more of your champion users, once they start seeing those showing up on people's profiles, they're going to want those too. And they're going to start figuring out what behaviors they need to enact in order to get the same reward. Hopefully this video has allowed you to think beyond just the buzzword of gamification and start to get some ideas of how you might put it to use for you in your own community. Stay tuned for more gamification innovation from Jive Software, and until next time, I'm Carrie Gilbert with Jive.